Hi, this is Emily, and I'm going to talk about my update on my amalgam fillings. So, um, this is my second update for um, the amalgam <laughs> fillings that I'm having removed. So, um, for just a brief recap, uh, you might want to go watch my first update and maybe watch my first video about amalgam fillings and why I'm having them removed. Um, an amalgam filling is a silver filling and um, I had two of them removed from the right side of my um, face, mouth, <laughs> one on top and one on bottom. And um, in my first update video, I talked about how I was having pain in that tooth, in the bottom tooth. Um, it was... Um, it was chipped. I really needed to hurry up and have that taken out because, yeah, the mercury in um, heavy metals in your filling are going to leak out into your system, and that's just not a good idea for anyone, right? So, um, but this bottom molar that I had the amalgam removed from, um, you know, the dentist, he is a certified dentist in doing the um, removal of the amalgams, which you need to be particular about. And um, he did take out the amalgam in both of these teeth, top and bottom. And the bottom one also needed a crown once it was filled. And so he put a temporary crown on there. And I've been in pain ever since. <laughs> so a week after the crown and everything was put on, I had a follow-up appointment, an emergency follow-up appointment with my dentist because I was in so much pain. Um, on the pain scale of 1 to 10, I was anywhere from a 5 to a 9 at all times. It just, it, oh, it just hurt all the time. And um, I was like desperate <laughs> just for anything he could offer me. Um, and I he started, I got there, he started talking about doing a root canal in that tooth, and I told him I don't believe in root canals for several reasons. Um, I've had them before, I've had one before and it didn't work out, and, you know, um, so he, because my root canal that I had in another tooth failed in the past, he continued to ask me more in-depth questions about the pain and everything um, because I was waking up in the middle of the night in horrible pain and I just told him I can't go living this way forever what am I gonna do and um, so he kind of he referred me to a specialist um, he does do root canals but he said you know if you want to go to a specialist and get a second opinion here's a referral and um, I never did go see that um, specialist because I don't think he's a non-toxic uh, dentist specialist and I'm looking for the more natural type of dentistry. So, um, so he told me, you know what, let's wait it out. Let's wait maybe a month and see if the pain kind of goes away because my tooth is not abscessed. It was not abscessed to begin with. So it's not infected. He said it might get, um, become an abscess just because the root is like inflamed and, you know, it's freaking out on me and causing me all this pain. It could eventually turn into an abscess. I don't know how that works, but that's what he said. So I've been waiting it out. It's been a little over a month and I do have an appointment coming up here soon. But I want to just say, while I was there, he, he asked me all these questions about trying to figure out why I was waking up in the middle of the night uh, with the pain. And I told him that I think I might be grinding or clenching onto my teeth, you know, or clenching in the night. Because I've been told by other previous dentists in the past that I'd probably do that. There are signs of my teeth clenching. So he said, um, well, just let me drill a little bit on that painful tooth. And he did. Uh, he just drilled on the, um, the, the temporary crown 
just to kind of make sure it was on there correctly and l matching up and lining up so that if I am clenching my teeth during the night that it will hopefully not be able to cause me pain because it won't be clenching in the wrong way and ow, it hates me now and you know. So he drilled on it a little bit and of course that really hurt um, the, for the rest of the day. But the next morning I woke up and there was no pain. None, no pain in that tooth. And I thought, okay, that must be the reason I apparently I've been clenching on that te temporary crown and but here's the thing the pain has been coming and going off and on over the past month or maybe a little over I think it's been exactly a month or something like that but um the pain's been like coming and going sometimes I'll have a dull ache all day where it's like a two on the, on the pain scale of 1 to 10, I'm like, I can deal with the 2, but I'm starting to get used to the pain. So I'm thinking, um, do I even know if I'm in pain or not anymore? <laughs> because I tend to just ignore it because I know there's nothing I can do and I don't want to be living off of Tylenol and Advil so I only take those when I absolutely have to, you know, if I can't sleep without it, I'll take it. Or if I can't concentrate at work, I'll take it. You know, just a couple of Advil or Tylenol, not enough to, you know, I'm not taking a handful of them, just a couple. And that kills the pain. So, um, you know, I don't know. I told the dentist I'm on a anti-inflammatory diet. I'm eating fruits and vegetables and root vegetables and sometimes I have some rice and you know um, I'm not eating high acidic foods highly acidic I'm not eating dairy and you know um, I'm on a very anti-inflammatory diet and I asked him do you think that'll help and he said it might you know? <laughs> I don't know I also asked him is there any kind of painkiller you can tell me about that's more homeopathic or, you know, something that's not going to murder my liver? Because <laughs> liver disease runs in my family and he just didn't know what to tell me. And I asked him if Arnica cream or gel would help and he told me he didn't think that would really work. But um, I did try the Arnica gel and it just didn't, I didn't notice anything. Arnica gel is more for like if you sprain your ankle or if you have a bruise, it will help with the swelling. And I'm thinking, well, if it helps with swelling, I feel like I'm swelling up. So the other thing I don't want to forget to mention is I started noticing that when my tooth hurts, my ear hurts. It's like this whole area starts to feel like, you know, someone's jabbing me with a knife or a needle <laughs> all through my ear to my jaw to my tooth. And um, that can be because my sinuses sit right, your sinuses can sit right up against your teeth apparently. And um, that is something that runs in my family as well. So I have these freaking out sinuses and I have my freaking out tooth and it's creating this problem. But what I can say is, you know, I do, sometimes I'll have a day where I have just this level two pain in the background and I just kind of ignore it all day. Then I'll have a day where it doesn't hurt at all. Then I'll have another day where it might be like more a three or a four, but it hasn't really gone above that. Um, it hasn't gone above a five since that little checkup I had with my dentist, my little follow-up appointment. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe it's getting better. Um, I'm supposed to have my temporary crown taken off and they're going to put a permanent crown on this week. And I called and rescheduled that for, you know, like in a month from now, um, because the minute they start messing with that tooth again, I think it's just going to start, you know, flipping out again. And the other thing is I can't chew on that tooth still. It's 
Um, even when it's not hurting and it feels fine, if I start chewing on it, it feels like that root is still upset, inflamed, whatever you want to call it, and it starts to hurt. But it's a temporary pain. It goes away if I stop chewing. So, ugh, teeth. That's what I told the dentist. I said, ugh, teeth. And he says, that's what I say. <laughs> he says that all the time. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I don't know what's going to happen still. It's getting better. At least it appears to be getting better. But is it really? I don't know. It's a mystery. Ooh, a tooth mystery. So, <laughs> whatever. So, uh, I will do a third update probably after, sometime after I get that crown put on. Um, I have more amalgam fillings. I have three more to go. And I asked him, what are we going to do? Or, you know, how are we going to go about doing this? It might hurt me again. And he said, I will not touch any more of your teeth until this one stops hurting. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to get the other three amalgam out. Um, at least the other three aren't chipped. They are apparently just, you know, fine. But that doesn't mean it's safe. So, um, to be continued, um, thank you. Bye.